This is AP Calculus AVV, Unit 5, Lesson 1, Introduction to Accumulation and Net Change. I'm going to take a look at this velocity formula for a minute. Velocity, which depends on time, so V of t, equals, and let's, uh, let's do this here, t squared minus 4t plus 3, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and graph this, and we're going to talk about the, the uh, motion, the, what, what, what's going on with the object. And we're going to concern ourselves with time from 0 seconds to 6 seconds, okay? And let's make a graph, 0 to 6 seconds, okay? At 0 seconds, the height is 3. At 6 seconds, 6 squared is 36. 4 times 6 is 24. 36 minus 24 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay. And then uh, zeros, where do the zeros occur? Well, a little bit of factoring will help. t squared minus 4t plus 3 equals 0. Factor t minus 3t minus 1. So at t equals 3 and 1, we have zeros. So 1, 2, 3 and 1. Okay, and uh, we're going to have a zero here, okay, and just plotting some points, just graphing x squared here, uh, four and two, four, five, okay, there we go. All right, so we've got a graph, and you can, you can graph this with uh, graphing technology on your graphing ca calculator as well. Okay, but this is the behavior of the object by measure of its velocity from t equals 0 to t equals 6 seconds. Okay. All right. So let's draw the x-axis and the y-axis. And this sort of analysis is really good here. So to, to take, you, take you through to make sure you understand what's going on. Okay. So initially the velocity is 3 meters per second or feet per second or whatever the units are. And it's, it's, it's going to, let's see, say it's meters per second. So initially its velocity is 3 meters per second. And let's say it starts at position 0. Okay. So its starting position, I'm going to go ahead and graph the position over time from the velocity. Position over time. So it starts at a position of 0. And it's traveling at 3 meters per second. So its slope is 3. Okay. It reaches a velocity of 0 meters per second at, at uh, 3, at, or at 1 second, at 1 second. So it has a slope of 0 at 1 second. So it's slope of 1, slope of 0. So it's flat right here. Okay. And whereupon it starts traveling the other direction. Its velocity is now negative, so it's traveling in the other direction. And its velocity is, is going down. And it's, it's got zero velocity here at three seconds. So it's going to behave something like this. Okay, whereupon it start, turns around and starts traveling the other direction ever faster. So we're going to have something like this. 
So this is the graph of position over time, s of t, as opposed to v of t. Okay. So we can tell a lot about what's going on. It's traveling in one direction, maybe to the right, and then it reaches an, an, an end point here. Who knows where that is? And then turns around and comes back. And it travels past its starting point into negative territory and then turns around and comes back and continues off in that direction. Okay. Now what's more interesting is the second the, the fundamental theorem of calculus tells us something about the interpretation. It tells us that the area under the curve is the displacement. So if I find the area under the curve, that tells me how far the object has traveled, its position, right? Its position. Now, in this area, it's all positive area, so it's traveling to the right. But now we have negative area, right? And at some point, it reaches a point, probably about here, where the negative area equals the positive area. And that would be the point at which the velocity of the position function reaches zero again. Okay? But as we continue along, it continues traveling in the negative direction until it reaches three, and now it's traveling in the positive direction. So when we're asked, when we're asked, what is its final position? That's one question. When we're asked, what is the total distance covered? That's another question. Okay? So let's, let's answer both questions. So question, where is the object at t equals 6? Assuming it started at zero, okay? Well, velocity, or you can say dv dt equals t squared minus 4t plus 3. And if I multiply both sides by dt, dv equals dv, actually ds, d, uh, v of t is ds dt, sorry, fix that, ds dt, ds dt, the time rate of change of position with time, that's velocity, equals t squared minus 4t plus 3, multiply both sides by dt, and ds equals t squared minus 4t plus 3, okay, dt. Now integrate both sides. The integral with respect to ds of 1 is s, and the integral of t squared is 1 third t cubed minus 4 times t squared divided by 2, or 2t two squared plus 3t, plus some constant, c, right? Now, what was the position at time 0? We'll find s of 0, which is obviously c, and that was 0. So c equals 0. So s of t equals 1 third t cubed minus 2t squared plus 3t. And s of 6 is 1 third 6 cubed minus 2 times 6 squared plus 3 times 6. Okay, 6 squared is 36, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 36 times 2 is uh, 72. 6 squared is 36 times 2 is 72 plus 18. Okay, is 18. And so the position at time 6 is at 18 meters to the right. Okay. But that is not the total distance it has traveled. As you recall, it traveled in the negative direction some, right? And so in order to find the, so in order to answer that question, what is the total distance traveled, we need to solve this a little differently. Okay. 
So let's answer that question now. What is the total distance it traveled? What total distance well, it's traveled? Okay. So in order to do that, I need to break this up. I need to do the integral. So the distance, I need to do the integral from 0 to 1, where it traveled in the positive direction of v of t, dt. Okay. Then it traveled in the negative direction. So in order to count that distance as positive, I need to change the sign. So minus the integral from 1 to 3 of v of t dt and then plus we're going back in the positive direction the integral from 3 to 6 v of t dt okay all right so let's let's work out the work this out here so the derivative or the distance is the integral from 0 to 1 of v of t dt. And I'm just going to integrate that, right? So the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 third t squared t cubed minus 2 t squared plus 3 t from 0 to 1 a minus the same thing from 1 to 3 plus the same thing from 3 to 6. Okay. All right. So the same simplified here a little bit on the work. I'm going to evaluate the the function, the we'll call it s of s of 0. Okay, is zero. S of one is one third minus two plus three. Three minus two is one, one and a third. S of three is going to be uh, one third, three cubed, minus two times three squared, plus three times three. Three squared is nine, and the third, the other three cancels with the three, so that's nine. Three squared is nine times two is eighteen. Three times three is nine. So s of three is zero. And s of 6 is, s of 6 is 1 third. We've actually already calculated this once. s of 6 is 1 third 6 cubed minus 2 times 6 squared plus 3 times 6, which is 72 minus 72 plus 18, which is 18, okay? All right, so D then is, so substitute 1, and we get 1 and a third, minus, substitute 0, we get 0, minus, substitute 3, 0, minus, substitute 1, one and a third plus substitute six eighteen minus substitute three zero and the distance is one third minus one and a third minus zero which is one and a third minus a negative is plus one and a third plus eighteen eighteen plus two and two thirds is twenty and two-thirds. So it has traveled a total distance of 20 and two-thirds meters, 
rather than the 18 that it finally ended up at. Okay. So be aware when you're talking about total distance, you need to uh, consider positive and negatives, and you may have to break up the integral into pieces where it changes from where the velocity changes from positive to negative and negative to positive.